What do an Ottoman Emperor and a Red Bull Diver have in common? They're both interested in this bridge for very different reasons. Our story takes us to the city of Mostar in Bosnia and Herzegovina back when it was ruled by the Ottoman Empire in the 1500s. The emperor sends his best man to rebuild their bridge because Mostar was way too important a trading post to have a rickety bridge. The builder creates a work of art and the multi-ethnic people of Mostar coexisted for four centuries until the 1990s. Bosnia pulls out of the Yugoslavia, war ensues and this happens. <laughs> Someone destroyed a piece of history, and in times of tragedy, the words of one architect come to mind. UNESCO can! And UNESCO did rebuild the bridge. They built it in original Ottoman style, but some argue that the community relations that were hurt by the war took a little longer to rebuild. Regardless, one very interesting thing did come about from the reconstructed bridge. An eight meter tower is placed on top of the 20 meter bridge to provide 28 meters of free fall for the best cliff divers in the world to show off their skill. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. We moved from trade policy in the Ottoman era to the birth of a new nation, to daredevilry in the 21st century, all involving this one bridge that one could easily have missed on a banknote. Well, guys, like, subscribe. I'll see you later.